In this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate skew and kurtosis. I'll show you one way to estimate skew and kurtosis separately for groups and also get separate histograms. And the reason you have to do that is that you have to estimate skew and kurtosis for each group separately. You can't just estimate skew for intelligence the whole dependent variable, like this would be the wrong way to do it. It's just go into intelligence, put that there, and then click statistics skew kurtosis, click OK, and then charts and get a histogram. This is the wrong way to do it because you're going to get the whole sample size of 80 people and the assumption of the independent sample t-test is that the distributions of the groups are relatively normal, not just a whole sample. We need to split our file. One way we can do this is to split the file. So data, split file, compare groups, and we want to compare glasses groups. So put that in the groups based on. Click OK. And now we can get separate estimates of skew and kurtosis, skew and kurtosis, and we can get separate charts for both groups separately. So click on OK, and you can see that now it's separating it glasses no and glasses yes, whereas previously it was just everybody, sample size of 80, and now it's a sample size of 40 and 40. And here we have skew and kurtosis, and skew and kurtosis. And these are close-ish to zero. They're not, not perfectly normally distributed. This is a bit of negative skew. And this is a bit of positive skew. It's a little bit concerning that the distributions are so differently skewed. So you could still run the normal theory analysis on here with the independent sample t-test. But the key point here is, is estimating the skew separately and the kurtosis for both groups and getting the histograms separately for both groups. Now I mentioned in the textbook that the mistake people make as they divide the skew by the standard error of skew. And if that value is greater than, say, 2.0, absolute terms, that they have statistically significant amounts of skew, which is true. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the skew is so bad that you can't do an independent sample t-test on it. So in this case, negative 0.760 divided by 0.374 gives negative 2.03, which might be considered a statistically significant amount of skew. But that isn't the relevant value for determining whether a distribution is sufficiently skewed for the purposes of not doing an independent sample t-test. You really should just be looking at the absolute skew value and the absolute kurtosis for all groups. And the rule that I describe in the textbook based on simulation research is that an absolute value of skew of 2 and 9 kurtosis is what you should be looking for in terms of having less than that. And these are less than 2 skew and 9 kurtosis. Now I also mentioned that when the distributions are differentially skewed, like one's negatively skewed and one's positively skewed, it's a little bit more concerning, even if it is less than 2. So in this case, even though I did calculate the independent sample t-test on these data, I think it's probably relatively robust. But I would probably want to do some bootstrapping here, as I mentioned in the textbook, as a robust method, an entirely robust method of testing the difference between two means, where I'm worried that the, the skew is different. Not so much that the skew is bad, because it's not bad. It's just that the two groups are differentially skewed. So that is how you can estimate skew separately and get histograms separately. I'm just going to mention very quickly, you can also get it another way. So I have to unsplit my file again, so it's back to normal. You can also go into Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Explore, and put the intelligence variable in the dependent list and glasses in the factor list. You don't have to split the file. This is going to split the file for you. And click on Statistics. You might want to look at Outliers at the same time. And Plots, you can get the histogram. Deselect Stem and Leaf. Click Continue and OK. And this is just another way where you don't have to split the file through the data split file utility, you can just get it directly through the explore utility. So here are those histograms that we saw earlier. And here is the skew and kurtosis for glasses no and glasses yes. It's the same results. Two different ways of doing the same thing.